Regardless of who we are, man, sir, we're going to go through things. Yeah. And sometimes you might feel like giving up. I never felt that way because when I got saved, I would change forever. You know, but some people who never go through anything and when it happens, you you feel like you're defeated. It's like, what am I doing? And I pray for you a lot. Because I know how the enemy fights the saints. All right, especially the one trying to live all the way out of here. And as I was getting ready to uh, get my message together, and my daughter stayed with me, and she said she's saved. Well, you can't tell if somebody said they're saved, what you going to do? You can't say you ain't saved. But I, God don't give me that authority. He don't give you that authority. He said, if you confess with your mouth mm -hmm. and you believe in your heart, you shall be saved. Mm -hmm. So she confessed, she saved. But the enemy still fights her. Mm -hmm. And he fights her because of me. Okay? Anytime that you are trying to live holy and try to live right and do the right thing, you're going to have opposition. Yeah. And a lot of times you won't recognize that opposition until you know the devil's spirit. See, if you go along with the devil every day and ha ha and go on with him, when he rides up against you, you hardly will know because that's my friend. You know, that's my friend and they don't leave him home, blah, blah, blah. But that's my daughter. So I know a demon spirit. I hate the demons and he hate me. So I know when the demon rises up. So and I know how to put the demon back in his face. And she'll say, I ain't no devil. I said, no, you ain't the devil. I said, but it's the devil that's using you because you don't know the devil. So I found out that regardless of who we are, from now to the grave, the enemy going to fight us with something. You know what I said? We're going to always be in a battle. And I know when I was sick and I was in the hospital, God brought me out. He didn't have to bring me out. I could have went on and be with glory. I never know what to do. But he brought me back for a reason. And because I'm back, I'm in a battle. I'm in a battle. I come to talk to Bishop Friday night. I was so full of tears because when you love somebody, you don't like to see what the enemy do to you. If you get mad because you see it, because you can't knock them out. If it's something, you just got to deal with them. The way, only way the Lord said, okay, you talk a lot. Calm down. Calm down. You got to just calm on down like he tell you. Calm down. All right. And that song, what I just sung, he gave it to me. Right. There is none like right. No one else can touch your heart like I do. You can search everywhere. All over the earth. But there is none like that. And when he gave me the song, I've been, I'm not singing the song like, I, but I hear it down here. Yeah. It's like he put the song down here. And everywhere I go, oh, my mouth, I'm singing this song. And everywhere I go, I'm singing this song. And then I, I said, oh, let me, sometimes you gotta pause and think. Every, I go to sleep. I hear it. I hear it right now. Thank you, Lord. That I hear it. Yeah. Everywhere I go, I hear the song. All right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And he was telling me, ain't nobody like me. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. Leave me alone. I'll fix it. Ain't nobody like me. Nobody like me. And this is the way since I've been sick, God deals with me in song. He'll give me. 
I'm the song about you made a way. Remember we sung the other week? You made a way? He gave me that song. I was going through something, and he dropped that song in me. And every time I went to bed, I sang it. Get up there. It's like, I'm not singing like with y'all, but I hear it Amen. down in here. All right. You made a way. And so when I, I said, when I get to church, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sing that song. and ask a million of them so to sing that song. And they didn't get a chance to sing it. They didn't sing it. But my grandson started playing it. And then they started singing it. And I had wrote the name of the song, brought it to church. And they were singing it. And I said, God is real. Yes. I wrote that song. And we're going to sing it. Give it a chance. But God wanted them to play it. For this God sent Sometimes things happen to us. And we don't understand why. Why me? Why? Why not you? Why not? God knows us. He knows from the beginning to the end. He knows when we were born, what we were born to do. And a lot of times we try to plan our life out. And God already got it mapped out. And if you think about as you grow in Christ and things happen, you be saying, why is this going on, God? That I'm tired, I'm busy. He'll let you know that it ain't going to kill you. He said, I said, all things work together. Right. See, I learned I have to go back to the Bible. Yeah. I had to go back to the Bible and start reading the word. And, and I had to quote them scriptures. He said, all things work together for them. And then I have to say to myself, I got to talk out to myself. I said, it's working for my good. It's working for my Don't good. say it to end yourself. You better talk it out so the devil will hear you. All right. Because my daughter told me today, last night, she said, you preach what you preaching on. She said, you ought to preach on peace of mind. That's what she said. You ought to preach on peace. And I said, well, I'm going to preach on joy. So that's part of peace. If you get some joy, you have a peace of mind. All right. yeah. So it's like she going through and God let me know what's by what, what I got to pray for for her. Amen. The enemy is messing with people's minds, especially the people that say it. It's the mind that the enemy comes out I know he comes out of my mind, so I know it got to be going out of yours. It's the mind. It's the thought life. And he put thoughts in your head. And and he, if you listen to him long enough, you'll think it's going to happen. But you got to rise up and say, no weapon that's going against me is going to prosper. I don't care how long we live and we say, we're going to have to go back to the Word. He said, it's the Word that's going to save you. He said, meditate on my... See, we don't meditate on the Word. We will meditate on everything else. Right. But He told us to meditate on the Word. I mean, and I can look at that. He said, day and night. Right. He, didn't, he didn't say just one time. Uh, day and night. And if the Christians don't do it, God know how to get us back to it. All right. If you're not doing it, he'll get you back to it. Because I'm here to tell you, I don't care how long you live, you will have to take them scriptures and walk with them scriptures. All right. I'm walking with the scriptures today. Right. I'm walking with the scriptures. Yes. He said, no weapon for him against you lose no problem. I tell the devil, when he try to come against my mind, tell me this part, you are alive. The blood is against you. God is in me. You got to start talking positively, not negative. God is real. From the day we, we are born and, and, and until the day we die, we got to always remember God is in charge of my life. If you're living for God, if you're living for God, He's in charge of your life. He directs your life. And whatever we go through, it's good for us. It's good. 
Because he's helping us. He's making us. Amen. You know, we're in the last days and all kind of things are happening. So the saints can't get caught up with the world. All right. So what he, what he got to do for the saints, he got to work on them. Let this come so they'll know this. Let that happen so they'll know this. So they'll know that all ways got to depend on me. We can never get self-sufficiency. Like we depend on ourselves. No. God will always fix it where we got to depend on him. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care what good job you got. It don't matter to God. It's only him that's keeping you. It's only him that's making a way for you. It ain't you making a way if you serve God. It's him making a way. And until we die, God gonna work on us till he get us like he want us to be. I never knew that I was not, didn't have as much faith I thought I had. But he can put you in situations you know you so wow. I thought I thought I had that down. He said, no. Long as you in God, you will go through some things and don't say it's the devil all the time. God allows the enemy to do his job sometimes. Because he took them kings and used them kings against the children of Israel. For his glory. And when God uh, worked on us and God sent some trouble in our life, he said rejoice. He said rejoice. Amen. I ain't even give y'all no scripture. I'm going to be coming from Nehemiah 8 and 10. It said, then he heard, he said unto them, go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet. Send the portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorrow, sorry, for the joy of your Lord, of the Lord is your strength. And I found out that the joy that was near my 8 and 10. I found out that the joy of the Lord is my strength. I'm telling you, you can go through stuff so much. You get tired of crying. You get tired of worrying. And you, in the Bible, said the joy of the Lord, you're trying to, well, I got to get me some joy now. I guess God said, now you find, you know what I want you to do. Get you some joy. Because the trouble will keep coming until I get you where, I, where you need to be. See, a lot of times we're not where we think we are. Okay? But God know how to use the enemy to get you the way you're supposed to be. So now we got the, the joy of the Lord is our strength. And that's my subject. The joy of the Lord is my strength. When we got joy, no circumstances too hard. It'll come and it'll look bad. But God can give you the joy down in your soul and people looking at you and you be laughing. Right. And they say, what you laughing at? I said, I ain't laughing at you. I said, God doesn't give me something on the inside. That's why I'm laughing. I'm in my house, I laugh. I, I, I laugh. Why? Because I got joy. Joy unspeakable. I can't tell you about this joy. But it's joy that when I go through stuff, I might try to bend a little bit, but when I feel that joy, I jump up. It's joy deep down in the soul. Hallelujah. It, 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 it's, it's a joy that when trouble comes, you might cry for a minute, but when that joy keeps bubbling, you jump up and say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I tell you, God can give you some joy yeah. that people look at you and think you ought to be crying. Uh -huh. But you just smiling. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Look, I was looking at Sister Megan one Sunday. And I was just laughing. She said, what you laughing at? I don't know what's coming down in here, child. I don't know what's coming down in here. Make me laugh. Amen. 
when I be crying, I be laughing. 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 I be Start laughing at the devil. <laughs> because all of us got that joy. We got the joy, it's got to cultivate it. It's been laying dormant too long. Uh-huh. The joy is there. You got the joy when you got saved. When you got saved, we had joy, won't we? We were just oh, we were there. <laughs> but I found out that when the trials come. Come and help me get down, somebody. When the trials come, uh -huh. yes, yes. persecution come, uh -huh. the liars come, come on, baby. the criticizers come, uh -huh. the mean folk come. Uh -huh. <laughs> when they come, You gotta keep the joy. Uh, keep the joy. You gotta tell the devil, no, you ain't doing it today. You did it yesterday, you ain't doing it today. I got the mind of Christ and I'm gonna praise God today. See, see this. See, the pandemic, I think, silenced a whole lot of people. Pandemic is over now. We got to get back in the groove. We got to, look, God, God is looking for something. Uh -huh. Come on. And we got it, but we got to let it out. Uh -huh. Come on. He didn't save us uh -huh. to let us to just sit and, 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 and go home and, and the trials come in your life and you don't know what you're going to do and, and the devil using this one against you and then we get all depressed and, and that's, what, that's what's happening. People come to church. You'd be surprised what people go through at home before they get to church. And they, they come to church and they want to get with, with us but they can't because of the trials, what they've been through. They can't say hallelujah. You don't Trials, I'm telling you, trials are, are something. It's something that you need Jesus, you need him in your heart, and you got you need God, like you know, you gotta have a prayer life. You gotta get rid of all bitterness. All that stuff you gotta get, you gotta get with God. Because trials gonna be here till we die. See, it ain't. Things will go on until we die. Okay. But we as saints of God got to make up in our mind that we are going to hold on. We got to make up in our mind that we're going to praise God. Because praising God is an act will ambush the devil. If you can get your praise going in your house, the devil have to flee. When you come to church, you need to get your praise going. And God will work in your life. God is looking for praising people. We, we, we don't sit down on God and let the enemy keep us sitting. That's his job. Satan's job is to shut us down. Come on. Satan's job is to shut us down. Keep us feeling sorry for ourselves. Going through trial day after day. But we got to make up in our mind and say, look, you know what, devil? I'm going to laugh at you today because you've been, got me, been holding me down too long with the problem that I'm going through. And God told me, I got joy. He said he gave me joy. When you got the fruits of the spirit, what up with joy? We don't have to go around uh, uh, all bent over and out of shape and down and out. The saints don't have no business doing that. That's not God's will for our life. But we got to rise up and start praising God like never before. And the more you praise God, the more them shackles will fall off. Yeah. You need to start laughing at the devil and say, no more devil. No, no, no. You ain't doing it to me. No, no, no. 
You ain't holding me. And have me glued and not praising the God that's keeping me. It's God that's keeping you. You won't do it for you. Praise God. Give him glory. Let's do it to his name. For he is good. And he is good.
because they had failed God. Oh, they were weeping. Crying because they had disappointed God when they heard the law of what they should have been doing. As we told them, the Bible said, they said, stop weeping. Stop crying. Don't do it no more. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. And I found out in this hour, it's the joy of the Lord that gives me strength. The enemy battles my mind, and he battles me in person. But you know what I found out? I go and get me some music. I turn that music up. And I be praising God in that house. And that never had to shut up. I found a secret. When the devil battle in your mind, get you some Christian music. Start that music going. And before you know it, you so happy you don't know what to do. The joy of the Lord will give you strength to go through anything. You hear what I said? I said something. All things. The Bible lets us know that all things work together. For those who love the Lord. And I get the call according to his purpose. Whatever you go through is working for you. Whatever I went through, it was working for me. He showed me a lot through what I went through about myself. A lot of times we think we all this and that. But it takes God to show us just where we are. Sometimes we got to humble ourselves before God. Go as a little child. Say, help me, Lord. Help me. Help me to walk the way you want me to walk. Help me to talk the way you want me to talk. We go through things and it seems like it never ends. But if it never ends, keep joy. I tell you, joy overrides every day. Every time you get to a soul, I tell you, that spirit has to jump up and go. Because it's a spirit that's fighting us. He's fighting all of us. And he's going to fight us till we die. So what we got to do, he got strategies to get out of strategy. When your heart is overwhelmed, you got to go to the rock. And that rock is Jesus. That rock will keep you. That rock will save you. That rock will help you. Sometimes the burden gets so hard. Seems like nobody to help you. But your help is right there. Looking at you. And you say he living on the end avenue. Quiet your spirit down. And say talk to me God. Talk to me God. God will talk to you. He'll talk to you. He'll tell you what you're missing. He'll tell you what he wants you to do. He'll tell you when you're doing wrong. He'll tell you when you're doing right. God will do it. And a lot of times, we go through so bad. I don't worry about going through stuff like y'all. I go through it. I can do it. I know how to do it. When I'm talking to the one who haven't learned yet. The baby saints. The young saints. Stay with God. Get the scriptures. Stay in prayer. Prayer is the answer. People don't recognize it, but prayer is the answer. Prayer is the answer. Prayer is the answer. Coming together. Come together. Pray for one another. God is watching over us. And he wants us to represent him in this earth. You 
You can't do it. If you're not following him, you can't do it if you don't know him. If you don't know him today, I want you to get to know him. That's a joy right by itself. When you give your heart to God, I don't care what you're going through. That's the best joy. Oh God, you can experience being saved. You're not saved. Get saved. 